hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a new vlog i've really been in the mood to deep clean the drawers in our kitchen for the last few weeks and i've kind of been putting it off because you know it's kind of like um a time consuming project and i know it's something that i have to do like when i open the drawers it's like dusty there's crumbs in there and i just need to like really clean it out and this afternoon i actually have some free time to do it so i'm gonna put on a podcast and just really get in there and i thought it would be fun to film as well in case some of you guys find inspiration from this i know it's always like for me when i watch other people clean or organize it kind of inspires me to do the same and to make my own space feel really good and decluttered and just fresh and i think this is also something really nice to do in at the beginning of the year so that is what we're gonna start with and i am so so looking forward to this because i've been wanting to do this for weeks and it's just been one of those things that i've been putting off but today is the day <laughs> i actually changed this counter space up a little bit here this is where I cook this is our sink here we used to have our coffee machine but I was using the blender way more than the coffee machine so I decided to put it here instead and I put the coffee machine in this drawer here this is where we have our juicer as well our toasters in here and I used to have the Vitamix in this drawer before and I would just take it out whenever I needed it but now I put it here and I really like it I've been back into making my green juices but in the Vitamix and I actually have a new little thing that I'm doing so I will share that with you guys probably tomorrow but I really love it here I put it on this wooden board so it's just really easy to slide in and out and of course our water kettle I use this multiple times a day so that is a total necessity and then I just gave this space like a real deep clean so now I'm inspired to do the rest of the kitchen and all of the drawers, especially this drawer right here. This is where we have all of our cutlery. I don't know if you guys can see, but we've got like dust and crumbs. And I really want to also declutter a little bit and just see what things I'm not really using and just make everything look a little more organized and refreshed. And then this is where we've got some of our dry goods. Same thing here. I'm gonna go through all of this. I'm gonna put this on fast forward and then I'll hopefully show you guys a nice after. <laughs> progress i'm not 100 done yet but i need to take a little break because this is like 
it's exhausting <laughs> cleaning organizing all that i love the end process and i feel like it is quite therapeutic like it feels really good to go through your things and declutter get rid of things that you're no longer using but whew, it takes it out of you so i'm gonna take a little break but i wanted to show you guys the update okay so i got all of these middle drawers done and then also these middle drawers done and i feel like i use these quite often so they were the most like dirty <laughs> i mean they're not dirty but you know like cluttered and dusty so starting with our utensils i took all of these out and i wiped down like the surface underneath as you guys saw and then all of these pieces individually as well so everything is super super clean and it just feels so good. This one was pretty organized to begin with since it is like really well compartmentalized already, but this just really needed a clean. And then this drawer over here, I decluttered quite a bit. I got rid of some things that I just wasn't using or things that I had doubles of, I'm donating, and again, just wiped down the surfaces and got rid of any like little crumbs from baking, cooking, and I also just organize the things a little bit better so that I know where everything is. I can find things very easily. And then we've got this drawer. It's kind of like a pantry drawer. I usually have a lot more avocados in here. Some dates. And then these are extras of different seeds and nuts that we have actually in a different part of the kitchen. But here I have like... The backups and then these are all extra spices as well that i also have in a different place and then we've got pasta here all different kinds noodles spaghetti penne we've got some chickpea pasta back there too which i love i love these bins by the way they are from amazon i would highly highly recommend them if you have like big drawers like this same thing in this drawer it's kind of like my baking drawer as well so i've got like flowers sugars some chocolate for baking i've got oats and then here i've got lentils rice quinoa and then these are pasta sauces and some soups coconut milk at the bottom and other little things like that and then i also did these drawers i'll just show them to you real quick so this top one is where i've got my spoons for cooking all my like cooking utensils like spatula lemon squeezer handles things like that of course lids for pots and pans and then here i've got my pens and i like to separate them with a little piece of tissue just to protect the bottom and then here i've got my pens and sieves things like that so this feels amazing that this is all clean now the weather is actually so beautiful today so i'm going to head out on a walk and then i might finish the rest of the drawers later tonight or maybe tomorrow but i feel like that was already really good progress before i go i'm gonna have a piece of this beautiful banana bread i will have the recipe for this down below in the description box it is such an epic recipe it is gluten-free refined sugar-free and it tastes absolutely amazing so many of you guys have made this over the last few years and i just i'm so happy with how it turns out every single time it's just delicious and it's healthy too so i will have the recipe for this down below in the description box if you guys want to try it out as well dinner i heated up some leftover bolognese from last night and added in some fresh spinach to it which i love to do for some extra greens and mo wanted his with rice and i had mine with spaghetti and this was so delicious such a warm and cozy wholesome meal
Good morning guys. I was just about to make my green juice for the day and I wanted to share that tip that I was talking to you guys about yesterday. It's like a major hack for me that I recently discovered and I love that it just makes it so much more convenient and quick to make them and that means I can have them more often and green juices for me like oh, they are just amazing. My body loves them, my skin loves them and you guys know how much I love my greens they are so important for vitamins and minerals and nutrients and making it in the way that i've been doing it so in the blender it actually keeps the fiber as well so you can keep the good benefit from the fiber plus it cuts down the time by so much plus this little tip is going to save you even more time i've been loving having that in the morning usually before i have my breakfast because i like having it on an empty stomach something else that i really swear by that i also to have first thing in the morning on an empty stomach is my probiotic taking care of our gut health is so important because it's so closely linked to so many things in our body including the health of our skin our heart health and even our mental and emotional health because most of our serotonin is actually made by our gut bacteria which i think is so crazy but that is why it's so important to make sure that we're taking care of our gut health so eating a good variety of different foods because each food that we eat it requires a different bacteria to break that food down the wider the range of bacteria that are going to be needed to digest those foods and that is really one of the key factors that determines someone's health is the quality and the variety and diversity of their gut bacteria and a great way to help support your gut health is by taking a really high quality probiotic my favorite one is is by seed it's their daily symbiotic i've been taking this for almost a year you guys probably know i love this one so much it is my favorite one and the one i would highly recommend over all others simply because of all of the research that has gone into this and all of the scientific studies that are backing this product and so many of you have tried it since i've talked about it in my videos and your response and feedback has been amazing it can be really helpful with of course your digestive health with reducing bloating but again it's really great for your skin health as well it's one of the main things that I also take to support my immune system because most of our immune system is actually located in our gut and I just love the quality of this probiotic as well so it comes in a two-in-one via cap technology which protects the bacteria on the inside and allows it to make it all the way down to your colon where the bacteria need to be because most probiotics actually just get burnt up on the way down by our stomach acids and bile salts and enzymes that are all designed to break down our food which is great but they can also kill the bacteria on the way down and i think that's why so many people have so much success with this brand is because the bacteria are actually guaranteed to make it all the way down to where they need to go and i personally take one of these in the morning after i've had my warm water with lemon i go to the bathroom i come back i have this i will do my workout shower and everything and then i'll have breakfast and continue on with my morning but i love that it's just such a simple thing that I've incorporated into my morning routine and I love that it helps with so many things including for my immune system for my skin health again for bloating and for digestion so if you guys have not tried this out yet I would highly highly recommend it they're offering all my viewers 15% off so you can click the link down below in the description box and use my code AnnieJ15 at checkout and again that will get you 15% off your first first order. Okay, so the first major tip when it comes to green juicing and you just want to make it a lot more convenient and quick is to actually do it in a blender. This is a Vitamix. It's a high-speed blender, so it really gets everything blended super, super nice. And then the second thing that I've been doing the last few weeks, which has made such a difference, is pre-portioning my green juice ingredients and freezing them in these little baggies. So you can also do this in like a glass tub aware if you're just going to be doing it for the next day but this is great if you want to do this like once on a sunday or on a monday and then you just have these green juice baggies that you can have for the whole week you just let it sit out for maybe 30 minutes or so to slightly defrost open it up pour it in 
add some water and maybe some fresh lemon juice if you want to as well and that's it it's so easy and i like to squeeze the lemon fresh on the day just because i feel like it's a really easy step i've got a citrus press and i just do it right over the blender again just add some water and it's pretty much done so of course we've got lemon i love some ginger in there too some celery cucumber and some fresh spinach this is also great for spinach or any like leafy greens that you might buy fresh because you know if you don't use them for a couple of days they go bad really quick and if you freeze them they're gonna last obviously a lot longer So now I'm just slicing everything up equally and adding it to my blender and to the bags. I totally forgot to mention that I also love adding in cilantro to my juices. I just didn't have any on this day, but it is a great source of antioxidants, really great for helping your body detoxify and remove heavy metals. Plus, I just really like the taste as well. So I just ended up adding that into the bags the next day. Three green juice packs ready to go into the freezer and then I've got my green juice for today I'm just gonna add some water to this you could also do coconut water as well and you can also reuse these bags by the way I just washed them out I dried them on an upside down glass so that way they're open and air can circulate and then you can just reuse them since I last filmed the last couple of days and even like the last week and a half has actually been so crazy there's been a lot going on at home well not that much has been going on actually like we've been home but Mo's actually been sick and he got it pretty bad and he's been quarantining in the room but yesterday he tested negative which is so nice but it took a while so he's been in the bedroom i've been making him his food and just like leaving it outside the door and there's also a bathroom in our bedroom so he's been in that side of the apartment and i've been here i've been sleeping on the couch as you might see from the back and this is where i've been for a while but yesterday he tested negative twice and he's just gonna do an additional test today to really make sure that he's negative but he does feel a lot better and the test came back negative yesterday so i think it's gonna be good i think because we were super careful i stayed negative this whole time so i haven't been sick i've also been really focusing on taking care of myself like sleeping a lot you know whenever i feel tired just laying down making sure i take my supplements going for walks sometimes just all of like the good things to really take care of my body and yeah I still feel really good so I'm very happy that he is hopefully going to be again negative today and then we can resume with normal life but that was that was crazy I feel like my back is starting to hurt a little bit from sleeping on the couch so that's something I'm really really looking forward to is sleeping in my own bed again and of course just like being with each other because he was also away um, for like half a week before he got sick and so we actually haven't really seen each other been with each other for it feels like almost three weeks which is just so 
sad. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very happy today and I'm very excited for the next week. And then we're also going away in two weeks, which I also mentioned in, I think it was two videos back. Also, another thing I wanted to mention that is making me so happy is reading all of your reviews on our newest launch for Nourish 3, which is our cleanser, our purifying comfort face cleanser. Seeing these reviews come in and reading about your positive experiences and how it's really helped your skin and even changed your skin within the matter of a few weeks like that has made me so happy just so happy reading those reviews like for me that's what I really care about is your feedback like yes it's nice if you sold like a certain amount and all of that like that's one thing but for me what is so important for me is your feedback and that the product is actually working and that it's having an impact on your skin every time we set out to create a product we really make sure that we're we're using ingredients at levels that truly make a difference on the skin and it's so fun to see that you guys are really enjoying the product so here is a new bottle and this is the outer packaging this is a moonstone here it's actually a moonstone that we own the same thing with the amethyst on our clarify and brighten face mask that's also a crystal that we have in our home and these pictures are all taken by us or our team so yeah it has moonstone in it but it also has square it has niacinamide, it's got salicylic acid, glycolic acid, pomegranate enzymes, botanical amino acids. So it's such a nice rich formula. It has so many great ingredients in there and I love that it also doesn't strip the skin. So it's amazing for more sensitive acne prone skin. It's really going to get into your pores, clear them out, kill acne causing bacteria, remove excess oil. But because it's based in aloe vera and it also has the niacinamide and the squalene, it does doesn't over dry or over strip your skin so it is absolutely amazing it's such a unique cleanser we're actually doing a little sale for valentine's day so if you've been wanting to try this or if you want to stock up you can use the code love 20 for 20 percent off site wide so that includes for the cleanser and everything else on our site and officially we start the sale on february 1st which is in two days i believe so i'm opening the sale a little bit early just for you guys so you can already use the code again love 20 and and that will work for 20% off. And thanks so much again to everyone who left reviews or who are following us on our Instagram and just leaves comments and engages with us. We appreciate it so, so much and it definitely does not go unnoticed. And yeah, especially reviews. Like for me, that is the biggest thing to see what you guys really think of the product and to know that it's really helping with your skin. So thank you guys so, so much. I'm gonna wrap it up here, but I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to check down below in the description box for links or recipes for the different things that I made or showed in this video everything will be down below I hope that you guys are all having a beautiful day thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in my next one Mwah.